Hi everyone, it's Mel here and welcome back to Blinky Blogs. Today is Friday the 26th of April 2019. Uh, yeah, today's going to be a fairly busy one. slightly or just to let it go sideways and keep a hold of the plastic. I let it go sideways. Right. Is it coming? Mm, lift up now. Did he come out? Yes. Is he alive? Yes. Okay, turning off video. Is he out? And he's okay? Yep. All good. Got a new friend now, Specky Boy. Hey? Got a new friend, Specky Boy. What do you think, huh? Sorry about tickle, Specky boy. Yeah, I'm sorry about tickle, mate. But unfortunately, there isn't anything mummy can do about that. There you go. So, I'm actually recording like these sort of voiceover bits um, at the night time after the day has happened. So I need to tell you the story of the fish and why we have a new fish. So on Tuesday morning, I made the unfortunate and tragic discovery that um, Tickle had been killed. I went to the fish tank to feed them and the lid was in the bottom of the water and I called up um, an IRA agent and said look my fish one of them you know the the lid has fallen in and I need to know whether they're both still with us um, so the IRA agent I called up and spoke to said as a matter of fact there is one missing and they described the one that was still there and it looked like Tickle had been the one who was uh, killed and Speck was the one who was still there so the reason why I'm saying he was killed instead of he had just died is because his body was nowhere to be found and then during the week um, like yesterday and Wednesday he had um, Sam had a very upset stomach she had the runs and she wasn't eating much and so one was drawn to the conclusion based on the fact that the cat had an upset stomach and the lid was in the bottom of the tank instead of still on top of the tank that the cat had indeed gone fishing. So we now have a new member of the family as you saw and um, he seems to be settling in nicely. I make it here on time but I have, thank goodness, here at Vision Australia Radio in Mildura to do an interview on um, one of our local programs about International Guide Dog Day which was Wednesday and it's now Friday. Yay. Truth. The first dinner Shell has had cooked by a blind woman. <laughs> 
Are you ready to go to the emergency room? <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. <sighs> I'm sure I don't have you in focus. Mm -mm. Oh, well. I don't even know where you're focusing. Hello. <laughs> ready? <laughs> Russell Sprout. Ready? Let's see. We didn't pray for it. Cooked for perfection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. We'll pray now. Oh, I just knocked a cat out from underneath the chair. She's hiding. Never done this before. I'm so excited. So, Mel has a shellac gel over her nails, which we do generally about once a month, but it has not coincided with my nails at the moment. And um, my nails are too fresh. I'll just show you my nails, see? Too fresh. Not gonna damage my nails. So I've said to Mel needs hers to come off. So she's always wanted to do her nails. So now is her chance. So, cause I don't want any acetone near my nails. So we're gonna soak off Mel's and she is sitting here, just buffing off the surface of her nail. In a little nail file. They're gonna be naked. <laughs> and then once we've done that, then we're gonna soak them in acetone. So I've got over here is something we prepared earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to say yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> that's relevant. <laughs> so little cotton wool um, triangles and aluminum foil. And what we do is we soak in the acetone, a bottle of acetone, a tiny bit there. So we soak the cotton, or we dip the cotton into wow. the acetone, and then we pop it on the aluminium and then we wrap that around the finger as you will see in one second. Okay, so Mel's back again. Let's just get it all just get organized here and then we'll come back. See you soon. Application down pat. No, do that with you. <laughs> right, so we're working this out. Do not put it on your clothing if it's got acetone on no, it. No it doesn't. It didn't. it didn't yet. So we have to just pop a little tiny bit of acetone on it and then the so blind girl the has to find the acetone yeah. first, and then pops it on. Pop it on over the roughed up fingernail, and then a pass aluminium foil, and then she wraps it around very awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've only got one hand here. <laughs> Oh, look, that's probably the best one yeah, I've done. it is the best one she's done. Yay. Yeah, all right, we'll get another one. Another little... There we go. Another little cotton wool. Oh, she's doing that. I'll crack another piece of aluminum foil. Sorry, nice picture of Mel's back there. <laughs> no, Mel didn't get any. It's probably getting quite low now. Yeah, that's it. Gonna be in trouble. Trying to do the other hand, I know. I might have to let this hand soak first, mm -hmm. and then yeah, do the other one. Cause I'm not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. No, that's right. That foil didn't go so well. No. Oh well. That's right. It's just the design there to hold it onto your finger. That's right. So no. Have you got any on your thumb? Or is the thumb naked? No, the thumb's no, the not thumb's quite not. naked. Okay, so we need another piece. <clears throat> you haven't described to me your nails this time. Oh, they're purple. Oh. Mmm. They are a real mid-depth purple. I'll show mm -hmm. you guys again. Oh, mid-depth purple. Yeah, they can and enjoy it. Two of my fingers have black and silver stripes and a diagonal movement across them and one of them has a really slight glitter. Mm, I like them. Yeah, We're doing nice. black next time. Oh, are we? Yeah. Okay, cool. When we can. Yeah. After I've had my period of, of nakedness. nakedness. Beautiful. Right. There we go. All right. So that will stay on for about five minutes now. And then after that five minute period, we remove and um, grab the file and file off anything that is still stuck there. Sometimes um, I 
take it off and just have a look and if it's not coming off I just put it back on again and leave it for another five minutes but I think nails will come off quite well, simple three quite weeks old, yeah because they're due to come off so it shouldn't take it should only take the five minutes but anyway we shall be back again so we're up to the filing stage We've removed, which I'm very bad at we removed the foils they're just sitting in the sink there and now Mel's just removing the last of feel I yeah. think that one's good. Should I? <laughs> or not? Now it's good. Perfect. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> the art of foiling is not so foiling. Fire. Fire. <laughs> the art of filing. Yeah, the filing is not something I'm very good at yet. I was going to say it takes practice. I'm not going to be a nail technician. No. She won't let me use the polish no, anyway. I won't let her use the polish. She's banned from polish. <laughs> She's not fair. Oh, I spoil all her fun. I reckon I could be a very good artist. <laughs> for every sense of the word. I was going to say, yes, your nails would be artistic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is all off. We're just doing a light buff over the naked nails now just to feel as ugly as smooth sin. them out a little bit more. Always feels really weird not to have them on there. It'll only be a few re weeks, right? Yeah. Because the chewing possibilities. Oh, that's weird. Your self-control needs to come into it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand those two words. <laughs> self what? <laughs> so, yeah, Mel has decided that she's not going to give up her day job and become a nail technician. She's more than happy to do this as a hobby once every now and then. <laughs> this ain't a hobby. This is, this is what you do because you need to because you don't want to go out with... Ugly as thin nails, <laughs> you know, with bits coming off and off everywhere. And don't forget to do your edges too. My edges. Yeah. No. no the, this bit. Oh, that bit. Yeah, that's the edge. That's the end, not the edge. It's the edge of now. Here's a doubt now, technician here. Not me. <laughs> For our <laughs> obvious reason. <laughs> so that's it. She's done it. She's always wanted to. My days of nail technicianing teaching people with no sight 101 is now complete. <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever do it again? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> no? Yeah, I don't mind. It's fine. How 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 did how do you think your student went? I think yes, my student did fine. The object of the game was to remove the the, the shellac from your nails, and it ha you have succeeded. So, success. All done. Anything else you'd like to say to your audience? Yeah, don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use acetone at home alone if you can't see. No, very, very dangerous. It destroys every surface. Laminix, uh, marble, anything other than glass and um, stainless steel. Everything else. It eats alive. Ah. Alright. We shall catch you guys on the flip side. Ciao, ciao. Bye.